The device on which this tutorial will be shown is an 3 old device, which has medium specifications to run games on Ether SX2. I promise you to achieve 58 VPS in every single game that you will be playing if not then, 100% on 40 to 50 plus VPS, if you apply all these settings, or in case if you have a better device than mine so you can even run it on 80 plus VPS. Pinky promise. So let's start this video. First install the latest version of Ether SX2. After the installation is done simply open the app, I have already created a dedicated video on how can you set up Ether SX2 emulator, if you want you can watch it. Click next then again next, here enable fast unsafe defaults, this will help us in gaining more FPS in the emulator. Select aspect ration as stretch, to prevent those. Black bar to spool on your game experience, after doing this click on next. Import BIOS file, select the BIOS. Click this, now again click next. Here click on this plus icon and select your game directory. Allow access. Now again click on next and click finish. Now the setup is done and you will see the game launcher on this screen but I guess my device hates launcher so it never shows the launcher. But anyways this is not a big issue, I'll start the game manually as always. If you have Android 10, open settings and go to graphics section. And select the GPU render as Vulkan. Keep the upscale multiplier as 1x native cause this device won't be able to handle any increase in upscaling. Come in general section and disable frame limit, this will ace the cache frame rates, enable fast boot. Now, come back to graphics section and disable binear upscaling and also disable FXA shader. And enable show VPS, show speed, show resolution. Show CPU usage. Because we need to see how well is the game performing, keep the blending accuracy to minimum, keep the vSync same as it is. Turn on preload textures, this will preload textures which will improve performance in some games turn on skip. Presenting duplicate frames, this option is really really important to be turned on it can result in a massive amount of performance boost. In the audio section you can try decreasing the output audio, this might give you some more performance but it's not recommended I'll not change it. Now come in advanced section and turn on upscaling hack, and we'll see some other options which can help in even more performance. Now scroll down and enable threaded presentation. Now almost all the setting are done, run your game. Don't think that all the tricks are done. There is still one option left which will give you literally ridiculous amount of performance boost than any other trick. Okay so the game crashed and it's because of the Vulkan GPU render in order to fix this just select the GPU render as. Open GL. And now again run the game. As you guys can see that we got a 5-10 amount of FPS boost after all these steps, and guys this is because I am playing as well as recording the gameplay, without recording I am getting around 25-30 to 30 FPS, I'll also show you some screenshots later. Now it's time for our special move, just click back and go to game settings, then head down to system settings, and select the underclocking option to 50% and then go to select maximum underclock. From here, select normal speed and set it to 120% this can result in increased RAM usage. My heart rages around like an ocean. 
After applying all these steps you were done and now return back to your game, I'm sure that you will see a high amount of performance boost. The reason why I'm not getting that boost is because I am recording but without. Recording the frame rate sometime even hits 40 FPS. So that's all for today guys I hope this video helped you thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and like this video cause it really takes effort to make one for you guys. Thanks, also write a sweet comment to get a shout out in my next video. Ciao.